lip tops. They are also known as living stones and they are very interesting plants to grow. They look like colourful stones, colourful pebbles under the sun and when they flower, they look extremely beautiful. But the problem is that lip tops are really hard to grow. They are very challenging to grow. And it takes me multiple tries and years just to get it right. They are so sensitive to every mistake I make. And if I make a certain mistake, I do something wrong, I know I'm going to kill my plants. So if you have a collection of healthy, colourful lip tops, you are definitely a very successful gardener. They are so beautiful and they are so unique that many gardeners will envy. So today, let's find out how we can grow lip tops at home. Again, we are using the grow method. To find out more about this method, download my ebook with the link below. Our main focus here is to recreate the same kind of growing conditions that lip tops have in the wild. So in this way, we add as little stress as possible. So we will Google, we will look for photographs of lip tops growing in the wild. And from their natural habitat, from their environment, we can identify their growing conditions. So the first growing condition that we looked at will be light. So here are some photos of lip tops growing in the wild. Can you see that they are always exposed to sun? And there is hardly any kind of vegetation, there's any, hardly any kind of trees or, or tall grass or any kind of shade in their natural habitat. The first growing condition that we looked at will be light. So here are some photographs of lip tops growing in the wild. So can you see that they, they are always exposed to the sun? And there are hardly any kind of vegetation, there's no tall trees, there's no tall grass, there are hardly any kind of shade in their natural habitat. So we will have to grow lip tops out under direct sunlight as long as possible. Probably at least 8 hours of direct sunlight. So the next growing condition, like condition number 2, is water. So as you can see from their natural habitat, right, it is so arid, right? it's almost like desert, right? Meaning that uh, water is, re is really scarce in that kind of environment. So therefore, when we grow lip tops, we must always keep the soil dry most of the time. So, a few drops of water is really needed when the soil is bone dry for a week or for a month. And then we looked at the next growing condition, potting media. From the photographs, we can see that the soil is usually sand and grainy. And there's hardly any kind of uh, moisture in it. So, we can use very open or very loose cactus mix, which provide very good water drainage so that the water don't get retained in the soil. The water will flow up pretty fast through the pot. Right? Next, we look at the fourth uh, growing condition, that will be humidity. As there are very little vegetation and there's always strong sunlight and temperature is pretty high, right? almost everywhere is dry. And so humidity level in that kind of environment, in their natural habitat, will be low. So you can grow them in very hot and windy areas of your garden. Lastly, we look at feeding. Feeding is our last growing condition and that is also a uh, nutrients level in the soil. So are there any organic matter in the soil? I don't think so. So if that's the case, then you don't have to worry about fertilizing your lip tops. So these are the five growing conditions that we look up for right? in all kinds of plants using the grow method. Now that you know their growing conditions and you know how to replicate them, do you feel confident growing them now? Yes, right? Because you now have the knowledge that you know exactly what to do. So what if in a case where you cannot replicate or your garden does not provide that kind of growing conditions? Then don't grow lip tops, right? Don't grow that particular plant because you already know that you have a hard time keeping them alive. Right? So that with this grow method, with this kind of approach, you can easily avoid difficult plants you can avoid growing plants that are unlikely to survive in your care. And that's the power of the GROW method. Right? That is exactly how many gardening experts, many gardening gurus do their gardening. And it can be used, it can be applicable to all kinds of plants all around the world. So if you had any kind of plants in mind that you want to grow, and you want me to review and you know, guide you through on how to use the GROW method, just leave a comment below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because every week we are going to review a particular plant. So click on the button below 
And before you know it, you'll become a better gardener. And I will see you soon in my next video.